Uh, today, uh, my name is Kevin Nutley. Today I'm going to talk about project management as an essential skill for career growth and how it is important for businesses uh, to improve customer satisfaction. Uh, how many of us uh, work on project, worked on projects? All of us. Uh, how many of us have uh, got, had formal education in pro project management? Very few. Uh, I actually uh, was put on, was made responsible for projects without any proper formal training, and it was stressful. Uh, today, I'll talk about uh, the importance of projects and how it affects businesses and uh, the economy, uh, the, def the formal definition of project, uh, and uh, the basic template for project management and uh, the benefits of getting this training and next steps. Okay, this, uh, the cost of project failures is staggering. Okay, just in the US alone, uh, IT projects loss is estimated at around 50 to 75 billion annually. Okay, this uh, study by Gartner shows that almost 20 to 28 percent of the projects fail. As the project gets larger, the failure rate is higher. So on the right is a study by McKinsey and company uh, in conjunction with the, with the University of Oxford of 5,400 large-scale IT um, projects. The results say 17% of the large IT projects go so badly that they can threaten the very existence of the company. On an average, large IT projects run 45% over budget, 7% over time, while delivering only 56% of the functionality. So this is another map that shows the predicted annual cost of IT project failures in millions of dollars to the economy. Okay. If you total this up, it is $1.2 trillion per, per year just in the US. The data comes directly from the CIA World Book, World Factbook. Okay, so it clearly doesn't make sense to me. How does a project that is, has a budget, has a budget, total budget of 50 billion, cost the economy 1.2 trillion dollars? Until I came across this article by Harvard Business Review, which defined black swan. So this article, why your IT project may be riskier than you think, explains, gives an example, okay, about Lee Voice. It's a century old company. Uh, they have operations in 110 uh, countries. Uh, they have antiquated uh, technology, computer systems, and disparate systems, which was not very effective. So the top management took a decision to modernize the uh, computer systems by implementing the top of the line ERP system, ERP systems by SAP. And they employed Deloitte, the top consulting firms, to um, execute the project. And the cost of the project was just $5 million, less than $5 million. But all hell broke loose when one of the uh, major customers, Walmart, wanted this new system to interface with their uh, supply chain management system. So, so during the cutover in 2008 uh, to the new system, they couldn't follow us. And the three of the US distribution centers had to be closed for a week. And by, by the second quarter of 2008, uh, Levi's had to write off $192.5 million uh, because, because of the Bosch project. And the CIO, David Bergen, was forced to resign. This is a typical example of a black swan. A five million project that is five million cost the company almost 200 million. So uh, that explains why the, the failed projects impact the economy up to 1.2 trillion dollars. Okay, many of us work on projects, and, and a lot of us work start with small projects. Okay, even small projects. The accumulated, uh, accumulated effect of small projects to the company is pretty significant. The project failure rate, rate is pretty high, as we have seen. Uh, and companies don't take, take it seriously to take, take some corrective actions uh, to fix these failures. These failures are avoidable if the person responsible for the projects is given the proper pro pro project management training. There's a dire need for qualified project managers. 
And uh, this is the um, formal definition of uh, projects by the Project Management Institute. It's a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product, service, or result. So the temporary endeavor means uh, there is a start and a definite end to the project. So and every project creates a new product, something new. So day-to-day -day working work is not considered as a, as a project. So many of the pro project managers like me didn't have formal training when we started. So it, we had to figure out each and every details. And the project management skills that you that is actually um, available is not rocket science. It's so easy to for us to master. Given, given the right training in project management can improve the success rate of projects. And this slide over here uh, shows the constraints project managers uh, work with. They have to balance time and cost against the scope to produce the quality required. So these are some of the basic um, steps for uh, project management. You have to set the project goals first before you start working on projects. Identify the stakeholders, get the requirements before you work. If Levi's had done the uh, talk to the stakeholders and found the requirements, they wouldn't have run into this kind of trouble. So develop a project plan. So the project plan contains uh, documentation about the scope, uh, the schedule, and the cost. And you work out, you execute the project by following the work, working on the steps defined in the project plan. And you monitor and control the project by uh, looking at the actuals against the plan activities. And the one, when you find uh, a better way of implementing a solution, implement it immediately. Uh, don't wait for uh, the lessons learned to be implemented in your next assignment. Okay. And when all the requirements are met, close the project um, after you get the sign off from the business. Otherwise, it will be an ongoing project which will go on forever. So these steps, the PDCA cycle, uh, the plan, do, check, act, by dubbing, uh, correlates to the, uh, in my mind, to the basic templates for project management. The uh, project man management tools and techniques provides a roadmap on how to easily follow step by step to uh, execute your project successfully. It makes us more productive because we don't have to figure out the details uh, and uh, it reduces a, stress, a lot of stress level. You, the roadmap is provided, you just go step by step. And successful execution of projects does improve your career opportunity, uh, advancements for career opportunity. Uh, in conclusion, uh, luck is the saying, luck is what happens when preparation meets the opportunity by the Roman philosopher Seneca, uh, explains it, uh, why it is important to gain this uh, valuable skill. Uh, be open to project management training at work, and even for uh, the MBA curriculum, there is an elective for project management. And PMIR is the organization that sets the standards for project management. Uh, there's a wealth of knowledge in PMIR. And uh, I just want to finish my speech by saying that project management is an essential skill that will enhance your career.